up you guys welcome back to my channel so today i have a very fun and very exciting video for you guys because cremal candle is releasing six new summer reserve fragrances and kringle was kind enough to send this entire collection to me to preview for you guys so thank you to them for sending these my way so as you guys may know, the Kringle Reserve line is their take on an expensive bougie candle. These candles are advertised as being of a higher quality as they use higher quality scent oils. And they usually feature a lot of complex blends and very unique fragrance experiences. So I always get very excited to see what they are going to do next with the Reserve line. And with this collection, they have a lot of very fun and unique fragrances for the summer. So the details for the launch of this collection is they are going to release on Thursday, June 20th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time if you're on the West Coast. And as you guys may know, I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador, which means if you use the code Wicked Dullboy, you can save 15% off on your purchase. Now, this is a commission code, so if you do decide to use it, I do receive a little bit of kickback from it. So it's very much appreciated if you do decide to use it. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into previewing these six fragrances for you guys. So I thought it would be really fun since I did get this collection very early to split this video into kind of two halves. So I got these about four days ago and I did go ahead and film my very first sniff impressions on these candles. So that's what I will be showing first here and then the second half of the video will cut back to me current day and I will give you guys my thoughts on the candles post burn. And trust me you're going to want to stick around because my opinions did change very much on a few of these in ways that I really didn't expect. So let's go ahead and take a look at my very first sniff impressions on these fragrances. Hey guys, so I thought it would be fun if I recorded my first impressions of these scents that were sent my way. These are the brand new Summer Reserve candles they just got here a couple of hours ago. And I was actually really, really scared that they were going to be completely melted because it was like swelteringly hot today it was like i think the peak was at 105 degrees and to my surprise they all got here completely fine like none of them melted so big props to kringle for that but anyways these just got here a couple of hours ago i have not smelled these candles at all so i'm very excited to jump in and up first here we have gingered peach so the fragrance notes for gingered peach are peach, nectar, apricot, spice, sweet, and cane sugar. Whoa. Okay. That's actually really, really nice. All right, so usually I'm not really a peach fragrance person. I don't know what it is. I don't typically like peach scents or peach flavored things, which is weird because I really like just peach as a fruit itself. But for whatever reason, like peach scents smell a little bit too sweet sometimes or too artificial to me. So I wasn't expecting to like this at all, but I actually really, really like this. You do get a little bit of like a peach puree in there, but it's not like overwhelmingly peachy. Honestly, I think this more smells like apricot, like that apricot in there takes over a little bit on this one and you're getting like the spice too and the ginger it, this reminds me of like a really good like moscow mule like ginger beer oh this smells like a really really nice cocktail like oh i love this there's no boozy note to it there's not a boozy note in this at all it smells like ginger beer mixed in with some apricot and some peach in there oh i'm actually so excited that i like this this one was the one that i was the most scared of because i don't like peach scents but this is really really good and i can't wait to burn this one all right so next in line here we have merlot so the scent notes on merlot are grape berry currant sweet and berry sugar. So I'm expecting this one to be maybe a little sweet. I think it's supposed to smell like wine. I'm not really a wine person, but let's see. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that is very deep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so first impression of this, it's very interesting. It is extremely, extremely accurate. It smells like those berries. You definitely get the grape in there very heavy. You also get a nice helping of the currant as well. It smells very, very deep. Now, like I said, I'm not really a wine person. I don't even think I've ever had Merlot in my life, but I imagine if you are a fan of wine or a fan of grapey type scents, you'll probably enjoy this one a little bit more than me. First impression, I'm not overly crazy about this one. I don't really know how I feel about wine scents. Most of the wine scents that I have tried in the past, I did not enjoy very much. I am very interested to see if I'm going to enjoy this one while burning. It smells very heavy. And right now, since it is very hot outside, I wonder if I'm going to enjoy burning this, but I'll let you guys know. All right, so up next here, we have another one that I am kind of scared of because I think it's going to be one of those super sickeningly sweet, too, almost too sweet to burn for the summertime type candles. And that is caramel, cocoa, and toasted fluff. So the scent notes on caramel, cocoa, and toasted fluff are caramel, chocolate, marshmallow, vanilla cream, and caramel sweet. So yes, yeah, sounds like it's going to be like very, very much for the sweet tooths out there. Okay. So it's not as sweet as I was expecting. That cocoa note or the chocolate in here is actually pretty like dark. It's not like a bitter chocolate or anything, but it's really grounding this. And then you do get some le like toasted vanilla marshmallow and the sweet caramel. The caramel is like the main contributor to the sweetness of this one. It, this is another one that I think is a little bit heavy as well. While it's not as sweet as I was expecting from the fragrance notes, it definitely does smell like it's going to be heavy while burning. The more I smell it, the more sweet it becomes. That caramel is really, really coming through. And it does commingle very nicely with the toasted marshmallow. Huh, I wonder how I'm going to feel about this post burn. I'm very skeptical. All right, so up next here, we have a woody fragrance, which I'm very excited about. And that is heartwood. So the scent notes on heartwood are sandalwood, green, sage, spice, patchouli, and amber. This one sounds like it's right up my alley. So I'm very excited for this one. Whoa, okay. Whoa, wait. So this one's not as woody as I would have expected. That amber really, really comes through it. Almost smells very like body care-esque. Definitely getting that sage and the patchouli in here as well. It's almost a little bit sweet too. Like they threw in like an apple or like a peach or something. I don't know if I'm going crazy, but this one really reminds me of um, Midnight Moon from Yankee Candle, the Halloween collection. It has very similar notes and like vibe to that candle, but it's, it's not as sweet as that one. Like I know that one has like apple blossom and like some florals and that one has the peach and apple in it. I don't know, where's that sweetness coming from? It's maybe like some sort of floral or maybe that amber too like a like a sugared amber or like a sweet amber that's making this a little bit like body care-esque I actually really like this this one definitely smells fall-esque like I could see this fitting so well into their like fall collection oh I really like that the sage is not too strong in this either it's not like clearing the room sage is just in there for a little bit of like herbaliness you're getting a little bit of the woodiness in here, but it's not overbearingly woody. I would say you're getting like the amber is definitely the star of the show here. It's not like overwhelmingly earthy either. The patchouli is so nice in here. I really, really like this one on cold. This is another one though that also smells like it could be heavy, but it's almost refreshing in a sense too. It does smell very fresh smooth too. I am very, very excited to burn this. This smells like straight up like a nice manly bedroom scent. Really, really liking this one. I think this is probably my favorite of the ones that I've smelled so far. So very high hopes for this. Up next here, we have the one that I am probably the most excited to smell. And that is grilled PB&J. So the scent notes for grilled PB&J are peanut butter, grape, 
raspberry, nut, and sugar. All right, so there's nothing in the scent notes to contribute to a grilledness in this candle. So I'm very interested to see if any of that is going to come through or if it's just going to be a little bit more sweeter as grilled things tend to be because I know for the spring collection, there was that charred pineapple that didn't have any charred notes in the scent notes and the fragrance did not really have anything. So I'm very interested in this one. Okay, it's very heavy on the peanut butter in this one. And that grape, like jelly, grape jam, just like punches its way through all of that peanut butteriness. It's funny, the grape note in this is almost the same as that grape note in the Merlot. It smells very similar, but it definitely takes on more of a jam-like quality. Like it's definitely congealed. This one's not as sweet as I expected it to be too. It's very grounded by that peanut butter and the nut scent note in here it's very nutty and there is a little bit of like toastiness happening in here it smells very delicious like i would definitely eat this like this looks very enticing on the label here this one is really really simple as well there's not a lot of frills it's just basically peanut butter jelly that's it simple straight to the point i really like that about it overall really enjoying this one on cold i can't wait to see how i will enjoy it while burning i don't think that this one is too sweet or too heavy to burn in the summertime but i wonder if it will become more sweet on burn or become a little bit stronger this one is probably the lightest of the scents that i smelled on cold but they're all ranging from like a six to like an eight on cold that gingered peach in contrast to the rest that i've smelled so far has been the overwhelmingly strongest but yeah really liking this one on cold very simple but elegant all right and last but not least here the one i am most excited to smell that is bonfire all right so the scent notes for bonfire are wood pepper cardamom ginger amber and fur so if you know me, you know I love my smoky, woody, fiery type scents. So I'm so excited to jump into this one. Let's go. Whoa. That is very peppery. Okay, you get a lot of the fur in here, which is crazy. It's like fresh tree, very, very fresh fur, like almost like Christmas trees. Huh. This one is a lot more woody than the Heartwood one is. Not a lot of smoke happening in this one though, which I am a little bit disappointed by, but it doesn't say anything about smoke in the scent notes, so I can't be that upset. It definitely leans more into the line of like trees with pepper and spices to create the illusion of fire, but there's no smoke there to really pull me into the vision of it all which is not to say that i that i don't like it i do really like this you're, you're definitely getting like a pungent like earthiness herbally type note and i think that's from the ginger yeah very very spicy and woody almost cologne-esque but not really because it smells more fresh to me than that this smells very similar to the black pepper christmas tree i believe it was from homeworks this past christmas if you guys tried that they were like qvc exclusive hobnail three wicks and i actually really liked that one after i burned it it smells kind of similar like in the same vein to that you definitely get a lot of like the black pepper out of this one mixed in with that christmas tree scent although that fragrance had citrus in it and you could tell that there was like a citrusy fruity note this one has none of that it's replaced with like this heavy spice and that amber in here is like the same amber that was in the heartwood where it's a little bit body care-esque adding just a little bit of sweetness to it as well I was hoping that this one was going to be a lot more heavy smoke inspired. We'll see how my feelings develop as I burn this one throughout the next couple of weeks. And I'm interested to see where it'll place amongst these after burning all of them. All right, so post 
first sniff impressions. I think the ones that I am digging the most are surprisingly the ginger and peach is really, really good. The heartwood is really nice and the bonfire is also intriguing to me. The other three are good as well, but I'm a little bit more iffy on how I will like them while burning in this heat wave that we're kind of having here. So I will let you guys know in my post burn thoughts how everything played out. This was actually really exciting to get to do. So thank you to Kringle Candle for sending these my way very early. Now on to my post burn thoughts. All right, and we're back. So it is now four days later and I have been burning these candles. I've given each and every one a considerable burn and my thoughts have been more or less solidified on each of these fragrances. So let's go ahead and get started here with what was my unfortunate least favorite fragrance. Now this one is such a surprise to me since if you know me and my typical fragrance taste, in theory, this one should be topping my list, but I just didn't have as much affection for this candle post burn, and that is going to be the bonfire. So just because it is coming in last place for me here does not mean I don't enjoy this candle. I just had very high hopes for this one, and unfortunately it did disappoint me. I was expecting something along the lines of a very intense, smoky, woody, fire and that's not really what you get from this fragrance this candle is very much pepper and spice first and then a fresh fir tree second there's no smoke there's not really indication of fire here to me it more or less just smells like spiced wood it is a very very black pepper forward so if you do not like black pepper or spice at all then I would not recommend this fragrance if you are such a fan of black pepper you love spicy fragrances then you're gonna really enjoy this one so on cold this thing is very very strong here but while I was burning it it was not as strong or potent as I expected it to be I would say the strength on this one settled around a six a six and a half for me with about a six six and a half throw as well it did travel a little bit into my hallway unfortunately for my brother because he does not like this fragrance at all he could not stand it when I was burning it me on the other hand I did enjoy it but it just wasn't scratching that itch for me like I really wanted it to while it's burning the pepper is the most present fragrance it somehow becomes stronger on burn and you just get a little hint from the wood from this on burn as well I very much prefer the fire that was released a couple of years ago in the reserve line as opposed to this one so yeah kind of a bummer for me personally but if you are a huge fan of like spiced wood black pepper in general then I think you're going to enjoy this one a lot more than me but overall here not my favorite of the collection all right, so up next here, we are going to talk about one that I think is going to be very popular, and that is the grilled peanut butter and jelly. So I actually really enjoy this candle. This was one of the stronger candles of the bunch. I'd give this one a strength of around a seven with a throw around a six. It had no problem filling up my room and traveling just a bit. So for all the peanut butter lovers out there, you're going to love this thing as the peanut butter is definitely the star of the show here. It smells a lot more natural made, maybe like a crunchy peanut butter as it smells very much like it has nuts in it, like uncrushed nuts. And there's not really a lot of the jelly in this fragrance. You can smell it in there. It's distinctly like a sugary sweet grape jelly, but it very much hides in the background just to give this a little bit more sweetness so that the nuttiness of it all isn't overwhelming. And the peanuts in this fragrance also take on this like really nice toasted quality. It definitely smells like a toasted peanut, which leans very well into the grilled aspect of the name. I do wish that the jelly had a little bit more of a presence in this candle, but what's there does smell very good. This is one of the only ones that I've given multiple burns to because it's really nice and comforting. And to me, it doesn't get too overwhelming. It's not really sugary sweet, so it's very much an easy burn. If you're a huge fan of peanut butter or peanut butter candles or peanut candles in general, nutty candles, I think you're really gonna dig this one. I think gourmand lovers are going to go crazy for it as well. Definitely a very fun one. 
I don't know if this is something that I need multiples of, but I do very much enjoy it. So yeah, it's overall very solid. All right, so up next here, we have one of the biggest surprises of the collection for me. In my first snip impressions, I said I was very skeptical of this candle, and that is caramel, cocoa, and toasted fluff. Post burn, I really, really like this one. On cold, it was kind of hard for me to get a feel for exactly what this would be while it was burning. Since when I was smelling it, the caramel on cold was very much overtaking the mix. It did smell like one of those candles that was going to be overwhelmingly sweet, but I'm very happy to report post burn that it's really not as sweet as I thought it was going to be while burning. It's very held back and reserved. No pun intended on that, but it is a good descriptor. I really, really enjoyed this. It was very calming and cozy and warm. The caramel in here is definitely sweet, but on burn, I was getting a lot more of that toasted vanilla marshmallow fluff and hints of that cocoa as well. This thing smells like one of those caramel frappes from McDonald's. And I do love me one of those from time to time. Those can get a little bit too sickeningly sweet for me, but I do enjoy it. And this candle kind of feels the same way to me. This one was really reminding me while I was burning it of Summer Boardwalk from Bath and Body Works. The caramel note that's in that candle kind of acts the same way as this one, but instead of that caramel apple that you get in Summer Boardwalk, that apple is replaced with cocoa. Now, as I said on burn, it's not as sweet as I thought it was going to be, and that is because this candle is a little bit lighter on burn. It settled around a solid six for me in strength and maybe around a four or a five in throw. This thing didn't really travel very well for me, but it was noticeable and present in my room where I was burning it. And honestly, I think that's in its favor for me at least. If this thing was any stronger than it was, then it might become a little bit too overbearing, too sweet for me. But as it is, it was such a pleasant surprise. If you can't stand caramel fragrances, then I'm not sure if you're going to enjoy this one, but I think this is caramel done very, very well. If you love caramel, go for this. You will absolutely love it. But yeah, overall, very nice surprise for me. It won't be the last here, but definitely another winner for me from this collection. All right, so up next here is probably an even bigger surprise to me as it's ranked this high, and that is Merlot. So I did some research onto what Merlot actually is. I said in my first sniff impressions that it was supposed to smell like wine, but I have since learned that apparently Merlot is just a type of grape that's used to make wine and that wine of which is made from this type of grape is also called Merlot. So that's some new information that I learned through this candle and post burn I really understand that now because this thing is just a gorgeous authentic like grape juice. I thought this was going to be very very strong and deep and heavy on burn. It's not deep, it's not heavy at all. It's actually very refreshing. It's not super sweet or anything I don't think I've ever burned a solely grape candle before, and I'm very surprised by just how much I like it. This one was another one that is about a six, six and a half strength. It's not as strong as I thought it was going to be based on my cold sniff impression, but like the caramel cocoa and toasted fluff, I think it works in its favor. I feel like if this was overbearingly strong, it would be a little bit too much, but it didn't have any trouble throwing. This thing traveled down my hall. I could smell it while I was coming up the stairs, and fortunately for my brother this time. He actually didn't like this one on cold when he smelled it, but while I was burning it, he did come into my room and was like, oh, this smells way better burning than I thought it would be when I first smelled it. So this one is another pleasant surprise for me. I'm really going to enjoy burning this one to the end. If you're a fan of wine grapes or grape candles, if grape is one of your favorite scents, then I would highly recommend this one because it definitely made a fan out of me. All right, so for the final two candles here are the ones that I expressed were my favorites 
on Cold Sniff and they ended up being my favorites post burn as well. And that is Heartwood and the Gingered Peach. These have been my absolute favorites to burn out of this collection. So just to hone in on Heartwood a little bit here, this one was actually surprisingly strong in my experience. I would give this one about a seven strength and a six throw. This one is absolutely gorgeous, super calming. It's woody, but it's also sweet. There's a little bit of earthiness in there, a little bit of herbaliness in there. Interestingly enough, while burning, this kind of takes on a nice like wooden incense vibe. It's very calming and cozy, perfect bedroom scent for me. And it feels very high end as well. It really displays what's so unique to me about the Reserve collection. The amber in here on burn is still the star of the show. It leads to having this almost sweet body care-esque fragrance. And the patchouli in here takes on a little bit of a perfume-like quality as well while also adding a little bit of earthiness. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my top recommendations here if you love incense type scents, if you love woody scents, if you even like body care-esque fragrances, I think that you would enjoy this one because it's not as woody as the name would suggest. And then Ginger Peach here is absolutely the biggest surprise of this entire collection to me because as I stated in my first sniff impressions, I don't really like peach fragrances very much. And on Burn, the peach does come through a little bit more more than what I smelled initially, but the apricot is 100% the more dominant note in my opinion. But even that apricot cannot beat out that ginger in here. This one was the strongest of the collection by a mile. At least in my experience, I would give this one about a seven and a half strength and a seven throw. You could smell this thing going down the stairs in my house. This thing is extremely refreshing. This one is probably the most summer-like to me out of the collection. I was going to save this for the final post-burn thoughts, but this collection to me is almost pseudo fall like. And that's even the case with this gingered peach. While it is the most summer like because it's refreshing, each of these have a fall esque quality. I believe that this collection is going to be so good for that summer into fall transition. They each have their own cozy like quality to them. So it definitely takes on a late summer vibe. But back to gingered peach, this one is my top recommendation from the collection. It's my absolute favorite here. Although I will say, if you can't stand ginger, do not pick this one up. That ginger is very strong in here. And if you don't enjoy peach fragrances, but for whatever reason you're on the fence with trying this one out, I would say maybe give it a shot because I ended up really, really enjoying it. So that is all I have for you guys today. So my overall thoughts on this collection is I think that there are a ton of winners here. I think there's something for everyone to enjoy and really a lot of surprises for me personally. As I stated earlier, I think that this collection is going to be very good for late summer into to early fall. And as someone who has been yearning for fall and Halloween all year long, this has kind of satiated that hunger for those fragrances around this time of year for me. So let me know if you guys are planning to pick any of these up, which ones you guys are most excited for. Once again, these candles launch on June 20th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you would like to save a little bit on your purchase, you can use the code Wicked Dollboy for 15% off. Thank you once again to Kringle for sending these my way to preview for you guys. Remember to like the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe for more candle content because I always have more on the way very soon. Until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye.